Hi, Troy Brown, team leader for the Bald Guy team with Home Smart Professionals. We're going to talk a little bit about agency and representation and how I can represent you and what forms or options that you may have as a buyer or seller of real estate here in Arizona. So without any further ado, let's dive into the agency uh, agreement form, which is more of a commitment from me to you outlining my responsibilities to take care of you and whatnot, but allows you the option to select how you wish to be represented, all right? So again, let's go take a look at this form. Okay, let's go over the real estate agency disclosure and election form, and let's assume you're a buyer, and you've come to me to help you find and purchase a home. Okay, this is a form that you and I would discuss, and it deals more with my representation of you, and it talks about the buyer's agency, the seller's agency, and then should myself represent you as the buyer and the seller of a property that you choose to purchase, then we call that dual agency or limited representation. Okay, now the limited representation, another agent in my office might have the listing while I simultaneously represent you as the buyer and the other home smart agent represents the seller. That is also called limited representation or dual agency. So my responsibility to you as a buyer would be to provide you the fiduciary duties of loyalty, obedience, disclosure, confidentiality, you know, and an accounting of all of our dealings, um, my conversations with other people, that comes back to you. Emails, text messages, everything gets relayed back to you so that you're fully aware of all of the dealings and, and things that are taking place. Um, the limited representation in a nutshell basically uh, myself nor the other agent in this scenario would convey to you how low the seller is willing to go in their negotiations and in in return I can't share with them how much you are willing to spend or how high you're willing to go okay there are three things a seller does not have to disclose um, pursuant to Arizona revised statute um, they do not have to disclose that a property was the place of a death. They do not have to disclose that a resident in said property um, had or had contracted a contagious disease such as HIV or AIDS, nor do they need to disclose that uh, the home is located in the vicinity of a sex offender. Okay. So those are the three things a seller does not have to disclose. But aside from that, the loyalty, obedience, disclosure, confidentiality, and whatnot, we deal in reasonable care and skill with all people involved in a transaction. So coming down here, um, again, assuming you are a buyer, if we just check this top box, that means I can show you all the properties that are listed in our MLS except those listed by Home Smart Professionals. And we have quite a few listings. If I check this box also, that means I can show you every single listing in our MLS. Okay. And, and this is assuming that the seller, again, provided that the seller consents to limited representation. Okay, that's how that reads, and that's how that would, would uh, be presented. And we would need your approval down here to, to move forward. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask.